record holder for for India, or she may be in the 5,000, so we will see. Uh, Let's see her there in the back. Right the there. gun is oh, up. Pretty. And they're off. With a field of this size, you kind of have to have a pace setter to get out there and break things up, set the pace for these athletes so they can stretch it out a little bit. And we will see what Val Constein can do in this race. Coming back, it is her first race back from injury. So she had that outstanding season in 2021. And now, uh, now a Nike athlete. Just sort of slotted herself right there in the middle of the pack, followed closely by Alio, another fan favorite back there. Alio Strander, a world championship team member. Kaylee Mitchell also in this race too, a new addition to the Bowerman Track Club, Oregon State alum. Then out front it is Grace Featherston Ha. Featherston Ha is a Canadian athlete. Followed closely on the heels by Gracie Hyde who has to be feeling confident after the performances of her Adam State teammates moments ago in the women's 5,000. Outstanding, that Out those outstanding. were amazing results. So Gracie Hyde, one of the faster seeds in this race too. She's run under 930, I believe this year. Yeah, Kaylee Mitchell taking that very efficient inside line. Um, but there's a little bit of aji baji out there. Some looking around by these ladies. There is some jostling here, but that's Featherston Haw out front and then Gracie Hyde. Featherston Haw maybe not so excited to be leading this race right now, sort of looking around for someone else to take over the pacing duties, but uh, we've got Gracie Hyde and and Kaylee Mitchell sort of just keen to, to sit in. It's still early in the racing. Uh, about 76 second lap pace here. The Gracie Hyde having run 928.17 this year in the steeplechase. That's her season's best and personal best. Featherston Haw, Gracie Hyde, Kaylee Mitchell. And then Val Constein just done a great job to negotiate some of the traffic that's been produced by this this pace here and put herself right on the shoulder of these athletes. Val looks like she's having the time of her life. She's just smiling out there on the outside of lane one, getting ready for yet another water jump, hey, feeling good. She has the yellow neck neck band there on the outside, right on the outside of Gracie Hyde in the bright yellow singlet. So Kaylee Mitchell, the Bowerman Track Club athlete on the inside in the red top. And look at this pack. It is, it is pretty wide here, athletes going into lane two. And some athletes run five wide in the middle. As you can see, Ali Ostrander on the outside wearing the black singlet up top. And she starts to move her way up to the front too, as it is Gracie Hyde now that takes the lead. Hyde's chomping at the bit right now. And you kind of just want to go out there and shake her and say, girl, go. You know, she's, she's putting two meters on uh, Featherston Hall over every single one of these uh, these these barriers that she she goes over, and and you, I don't. Why are they holding back? Well, every single one of these women is capable of, of running leagues faster than this, but when someone shows up wearing their national kit uniform, that can strike fear into your competitors. <laughs> <laughs> Featherston Hall wearing Canada out front, and now Kaylee Mitchell takes the lead. So she must have heard you, Will, up in the press box. Pump me into her earpiece. <laughs> Kaylee Mitchell, a 926, 924 best, I'm sorry. Moving from Corvallis down to Eugene this last year. Training with Jerry Schumacher from the Bowerman Track Club. And she's up front and Val Constian on the outside, Gracie Hyde on the inside, and that's in the black singlet behind Gracie Hyde is Tuba Gavench, the Turkish athlete. And Ali Ostrander coming into the picture too in fifth place. So they step on the gas as Kaylee Mitchell takes the front and start to spread themselves out a little bit as that was a 75 lap. 
you can see, Jeff, as the pace started to ratchet down a little bit, the cream is rising to the top. Those athletes with the best, the top season's best and personal best, and really, again, the drive and desire to be one of the best have made themselves known. In the top five starting to inch away from the rest of this field. And this is a bronze level race as well. So there is prize money on the line for the top six positions here, but there are also world rankings points for first through sixth, I believe as well, if not first through eighth. So athletes here are racing for time and they're racing for place to elevate their rankings. So Mitchell still at the front, Val Constian marking her. This is her first race back, as we said, so she's testing the waters. Gracie Hyde there. It looks like she can do something here. So we'll see, we'll see who decides to make the move when the racing really starts. Kaylee Mitchell got it going when she jumped to the front, and she's still there. Yeah, we've got three laps to go in the steeplechase, and as, as we saw on the men's, you know, I don't expect fireworks to, to until the, probably the last two laps here. Val seems very content to just track Kaylee Mitchell very closely. And again, I think a lot of these athletes are sort of, A, they're testing their own fitness, but they're sizing up their competition for, for the Olympic trials. It's a mere six weeks away. That's, that's right on the horizon for a lot of these athletes. They are testing each other and seeing what they have. That was a 74, so Kaylee Mitchell just keeps cranking it down second by second, 76, 75, 74. Mitchell still at the front, looking relaxed, and Constian looking, looking strong, looking powerful. A lot of bounce in her step, and there, there's three athletes that have separated themselves, and it is Mitchell, Constian, and Hyde but don't count out Alio back there either. Been here, done that. Alio knows what it takes to get in that top three's finish. As Mitchell and Constine sort of start to separate from this pack, a daylight between them and Gracie Hyde, the collegiate athlete from Adams State. And here we go, inside two laps to go. This is where we saw the race really get going by with Kenneth Rooks on the men's side. Kaylee Mitchell still leading. Val Constian, perfectly fine to let her, let her go a little bit, sit on her heels. In the men's race, we had the pink Nike kit victorious over the red lightning of the Bowerman Track Club, and here we are seeing a, a flip of script. For now. For at, at, a, at this current moment, yes. So Mitchell, Constian, Hyde, Ostrander, and Gavench. Gavench looking to fight a little bit back there in the fifth place position. But this is all, it looks like it's going to be a race between uh, Mitchell and Constian at the end. I could be wrong, but we'll see how this shakes out as they're attached at the hip, going into about a little less than 500 meters to go. Seen a couple strategic accelerations by Mitchell up front, putting just like a almost imperceptible distance between her and Val. But Val really has done a great job here over the last two barriers to slot herself comfortably in second place. Kaylee, though, looks very much in control. You can see the relaxation in her face again as she goes over that barrier with one lap to go, putting the smallest amount of distance between herself and Val, and it's really going to come down to who's got foot speed at the end of this race. Inside the bell lap, it's going to be a battle. That was a 73-second lap there, following a 73-second lap, but it's still Mitchell at the front and Constian. We'll see if there's a move down this back straight or when Constian decides to move. If she does, is she going to let her go? They are moving, and <laughs> almost moving in perfect sync right now with Mitchell up front and Val Constian in second. Val trying to find former versions of herself where she saw greatness qualifying for the Olympic team. And here comes Val onto the shoulder of Mitchell. Here's the challenge, and it comes from the inside. That's Constian making the move and swinging her arms. This is it. No looking back now. Constian's return to the track. As they say, go to the arms, Val, as she does to pull away from Kaylee Mitchell. She sprints for home and gets there just under 927 unofficially. We'll see what it looks like on the clock. 927-22, first race back for Val Constian after an ACL tear. And a signal to the rest of the United States, especially in this year where there's a shakeup at the top for American steeplechasing as well. 
a great race from Kaylee Mitchell, too, leading that as they got off to a slow start, 929.